Hi guys, my name is Sammy. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming out to our first annual Revelations Recovery Award Recognition Banquet. We really appreciate you guys coming. This is an amazing night for us. Um, it's the beginning of Joseph's House in Revelations Recovery. Um, we have some amazing people here tonight that we'd like to recognize who have been a huge part of our lives and um, the recovery world. So with that, I'd like to introduce the owner and founder of Revelations Recovery, Dark Work. We, we were trying to figure out a way to bring everybody together and this, this is what we came up with. So, um, you know, I, I just, a lot of these people I selfishly chose, they played a very important role in my life. You know, I'm 65 years old and I'm finally in a job that I've waited my whole life to be in. Hello, you guys. My name is Patrick. Um, I'm extremely honored to accept this award on behalf of my mother. I was filled with fear filled with fear and it was through my own recovery process of going through the same thing that parents go through you know that keeps me going that's my passion until I finally had to get broken and, and I was broken in 2014 and uh, I walked through the doors of Teen Challenge and I surrendered and, and God has just done a, a mighty work in my life since then and I'm so grateful. The list of people that I saw that are getting awards today have either I've worked with or have played an instrumental role in me being sober. Yeah. And uh, you know, 13 years ago, I had nothing. In closing, I'd just like to thank all the people that trusted us and worked with us and led us into their lives and homes, and people who have always been and will always be on our team, especially Derek Quark, because my life has never been the same. Things like this are important. The award's not, but coming around and meeting everybody is what's important to me and John. I have never met so many wonderful people in my life other than in this world, the recovery world and the prevention world. Um, thank you again. I appreciate it. It's a lot of people that don't make it, you know, and um, what I do on a daily basis is I ask God to like, to keep me fired up about this thing and to help me be useful. What everybody in this room is doing here to, today to help this, you know, this epidemic is beautiful. I just want to thank like the guys in the house because it's really because of them that, you know, we could get this, you know, um, and that's all I got. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but what I see is that there's more stuff like this going on. There's more people coming together, trying to join in, trying to figure out what the best fit is for each person. It wasn't always easy, but we've come a long way, and um, it, it's an honor to be up here um, and receiving this award, so thank you very much. Hopefully, one day my daughter will seek recovery, and when she does, the people in this room will get a call. The, my top people are in this room, and you know who you are. So thank you very much. Keep up the good work. You all are my inspiration. Thank you.
the, the biggest warriors of recovery, like if you look across the country, they don't have people like Stephanie Green and John or Kevin Rosario or Pat. Like we have so many people that are out there in the trenches, like trying to change the stigma, trying to get out there and uh, just create the change that's needed. So I'm just going to say thank you to them because they're the most amazing people that have come into my life and I wouldn't be where I am today without them and that's really all I have to say. We are the most talented, amazing, intelligent people that when we get our lives back and we get into recovery, literally nothing is impossible mm. and every single person that you guys touch including you including you and including all of you that i don't even know the, the last thing i'll say is self-care people need to know they need to know who this happens to because I think people try to protect themselves with the idea that it only happens to somebody else so this can't happen to us and I'm here to say that it happened to me and it happened in my family and if it can happen to me it can happen to anybody and we all know that but not everyone knows that you know once I found that recovery was in fact possible and like I started pursuing it uh, I would go to ways and means to get more for my music and for my dreams and um, you know it's proven to pay off I want to thank these two people the woman who cooked all day for us Lisa Bazanson. All the volunteers that volunteered today, because honestly this wouldn't even been possible without Brook Retreat and uh, all the other people that actually volunteered for us today. This is an amazing event. You guys did a really good job. And sometimes your, your neighbor or the person sitting next to you or the person that you know in recovery, it's hard for them to keep their hands up and that's where you come in. You embrace them, you support them, you encourage them, you inspire them to be able to keep their hands up 